We used to come here and pay five cents for a subway. We used to come here with a quarter. We were like millionaires because all the rides and all the things were about five cents. We used to go to Nathan's and buy Frankfurters for five cents. So if you had a quarter, you was rich. As a kid, when I was a teenager, we would come here, you know, the whole summer, stay at Bay 14, and we'd eat before we'd get on the train to go home. I lived in Brooklyn at the time. They used to have an orange aid at that time for a nickel. The Frankfurters were, I think, 10 cents. That, I was lucky then, I didn't have to pay. <laughs> How was it? Delicious. <laughs> Watch, that's good. That's a rave review. <laughs> But I think first thing I think of with Coney Island is a picture of 1928 with my grandparents courting and my grandpa. Um, big deal for them to come to Coney Island. My family's from New York, from Queens and Brooklyn. It's almost like a, a carnival. You know, there's people on the boardwalk. You know, everybody's walking. There's people dancing. There's musicians. There's puppet shows. There's games. There's rides. It's you know, an amusement park and a beach. And but it has this urban flavor to it. It's just a great place to be. Uh, after the war, it changed. After the Second World War, I'd say Coney Island changed. I, I personally feel. Prior to the World War, Coney Island was the thing. We used to go to the beach, hundreds of thousands of people on the beach. Oh, it's hundreds been crowded of thousands. Years ago. Always, always crowded. Because you got to remember, there was Luna Park. Luna Park is uh, across the street from the cyclone. That was Luna Park, was the wonder of the world. Coney Island was it. Because you can get here for five cents. From all over, from Queens, from Manhattan, from the Bronx, all over. 